Under our Future Made in Australia plan, one of our priority initiatives is the development of the Australian low-carbon liquid fuel industry. It will fast-track support for sustainable fuel with an initial focus on aviation fuel and renewable diesel, which will support emissions reduction in transport, in mining, in manufacturing and in ag. Member for Hunter has the call. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Regional Development, Local Government and Territories. What action is the Albanese Labor Government taking to support regional Australia, including through the creation of a homegrown, low-carbon liquid fuel industry? Mm. And what approaches has the Government rejected? Mm. Talk to the Minister for Regional Development, Local Government and Territories. Uh, not only is he a towering uh, advocate for his community, he's also pretty tall. Uh, but he knows that a future made in Australia will be good for all regional Australia, but particularly in the Hunter. Labor's plan for a future made in Australia is simple. We want Australia to be a country that makes more things here, because making more things here will help to grow our economy, it will help to create good jobs in rural and regional Australia, because you should not have to pack your bags to build a career. That's right. Under our Future Made in Australia plan, one of our priority initiatives is the development of the Australian low-carbon liquid fuel industry. It will fast-track support for sustainable fuel with an initial focus on aviation fuel and renewable diesel, which will support emissions reduction in transport, in mining, in manufacturing and in ag. Currently 60 per cent of Australia's canola exports go to Europe wow. to be used to produce biofuels. 400 kilotons of our tallow. And Mr Speaker, we can do that here, and the industry yes. agrees with us. Grain Corp said federal budget funding for low carbon fuel initiatives is playing into its strategy to become a major player in the renewable fuel supply chain. The NFF said in their Future Made in Australia submission that the NFF has long supported the development of Australian bioenergy and low carbon liquid fuels industries with Australian agriculture playing an important role in the supply chain. And just last week when I was in the member for Riverina's electorate, a beautiful part of the world, I spoke to locals in Wagga who said this, this exact thing, that they want to take advantage of this initiative to benefit their local economy. Because they know, just like we do, that regional communities stand to benefit from a future made in Australia. And, Mr Speaker, we're already seeing tangible outcomes, such as the MOU between Ampol, Grain Corp and IFM to explore establishing Australia's own integrated renewable fuels industry, which will include the supply of local homegrown feedstocks. But the Nationals can't yet convince the Liberals to stop saying no to everything. The Liberal parties dismiss the policy as billions for billionaires, failing to understand the importance of working with the private sector to build new Australian industries and to create more jobs in our region. I mean, those opposite, led by the shadow treasurer, who calls support for Australian industries a wasted effort, or billions for billionaires, they just don't understand the importance of working with the industry. But, I mean, it's hardly surprising from a group that chased car manufacturers offshore and called Australian manufacturing a graveyard. That's not how you deliver for regional communities. On this side of the House, you've got a government with a positive plan for Australia who supports Australian industries, supports Australian Order. jobs and supports Australian training. Concluded.